Definitions. One, the word therapy is signed healer. It means to serve, restore, care for, wait for, treat medically. The word ambassador is signed announcer. It means an authorized messenger. The word farmer means to till, fertilize, plant, cultivate. God makes the growth. The word cure is signed heal. The word care is signed take care of. Remember, the doctor cares but medicine cures. The caregiver is you. The cure giver is God. This story helps us to understand that we work together with God in his work of caring for our world. Farmers plant, tend, and harvest crops, but God causes the miracle of growth. Likewise, we as caregivers plant God's word tend to people and gather people and ca God causes the miracle of faith in the lives of people. It is tempting at times to forget God's responsibility in the caring curing process. We want to look at the different responsibilities in this process and grow in appreciation of God's way, his way of using us in his process of caring and curing. The word therapy comes from a Greek word that means to serve, to restore, to care for, to wait upon or to treat medically. Because you follow Jesus, you are a Christian therapist. You serve and care for other people. Understanding the Bible teaching about therapy will help you to see the difference between all other caregivers and you as a Christian caregiver. You are offering to people love without limits because Jesus lives in you. You are God's ambassador. You bring the good news of God's acceptance and forgiveness and life. Caring is a process like plowing fertilizing, planting, and cultivating. God takes care of the growth and the fruits. When you realize that God is the cure giver, you are freed from worry and false expectations. You no longer are responsible for the results. 
You are free to make the best possible therapeutic situation for growth to happen by developing trust and by communicating acceptance and love. If you do not depend on God as the cure giver, you are in deep trouble because you then either have to blame yourself for not being good enough or not doing the right thing, or you blame the care receiver because he didn't try hard enough or didn't listen to your advice. 